Hello, once again, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Robert P. Okay, before you enjoy this epic masterpiece of a box opening video, keep this in mind. I had recorded this and everything was all set and ready to go. And I did the editing and I set it to render and I figure I'm gonna watch some videos while I'm doing that. Anyway, I figure I'm gonna watch some videos while I'm doing that. Well, about halfway through, the render crashes. It just crashes. Boop. Error crash, can't do anything with it. Now mind you, when I'm editing these videos, hence the reason why I don't have a lot of videos up right now, I have the attention span of a squirrel. Thought I saw a squirrel. But anyway, I have the attention span of a squirrel when it comes to doing this stuff. So I had to fight off an aneurysm and start the process all over again and redo it. So keep that in mind. Hope you enjoy. Give me a thumbs up to my dedication to providing quality content. Man, it's hot outside. Games, uh, this is more of a box opening. I've been waiting on this for a very long time, so now I'm just hanging out here with the pooch. And we're gonna go ahead and open up this box for you and see what we got. So first off, let's get the ball rolling. I'm gonna do this all in one shot there. So once again, I wanna thank you for tuning in. And also I wanna thank you for uh, hitting that like and subscribe button, because as I know, you're gonna already go ahead and do that. Okay, so first box, let's go ahead and get it opened up for you. Okay, first thing we got in the box here, we got, uh, here's the box. We have some plastic. And here's the plastic. Now, first thing we also have here is an OTG cable. That's an on-the-go cable. It's a... Uh, Allows you to plug in a regular USB cable to a micro USB. So that's the first thing we have here is an OTG cable. Next what we have in the box, another little box in the box, is we have we have some styrofoam, we have an owner's manual, we have a small box, another small box, and we have, oh, this is a battery charger. This is a battery charger. I'm filming this right now on my Sony 4K camera, action camera. I believe it's an FDR 3000 and it only came with one battery so what I did is I went ahead and ordered a charger for the battery about 15 bucks on Amazon and it has a European plug for it and a cigarette lighter plug for it and the little, bo the little boxes here are little tiny tiny batteries that go along with it so that way, when I take the camera on the go, I don't have to worry about my battery going dead because I'll have charged two additional batteries to take along with me. Take this, put this aside. The charger. Okay, last thing in the box. Box is empty. We have a Maverick Pro tablet uh, stints. Now, I don't have a Mavic Pro. I wish I did. Those things are like a thousand bucks. Don't have one. But anyway, I went ahead and got this anyway, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Ok, 
Okay, so we have, this is red, and I got this so it'll fit my tablet. Let me grab my tablet. I got this so I can use it with my tablet, which is a Note 10, 10 inch tablet. It's my Samsung Note tablet there. Use it often cover for it. So with this, I can slide this in there and it fits just right. See? It's a holder for my tablet. And with that holder, I have this right here, which is... Okay, great. So it's this. And I got something for that. Well, I thought I had something for that, but I guess I don't. I was mistaken. But anyway, this right here, so if I take the tablet off, this goes into the back of this. So I just loosen that up. Not take it off, just loosen it. And this right here, if I loosen this little nut, this uh, slides in and out. I can take this. If I'm looking at it correctly, pop this right in there. Then I can adjust it the way I want. Well, actually, it goes like this. Okay, yeah. So now I can adjust it just the way I want. And I can tighten it down like that. Tighten this where I want it like that. And I got this adjustment right here. So I can tighten this where I want it. So there we go. It's just a little case, a little holder there for the tablet that I can uh, put my tablet in. Like I said, this was like 15, another $15 on, on uh, Amazon. But anyway, that's what this is. So, here comes the grand finale of my great box opening. So, it's this box right here. And I ordered this way back on June the 10th. I've been waiting all this time, like a little kid waiting for Christmas. Checking the app. Is it shipped yet? No. Is it shipped yet? No. Is it shipped yet? No. I asked everybody, is it shipped yet? No. I began to believe I wasn't going to get it anytime soon. Maybe I'd get it for Christmas. dribble all over everything. Okay, so I got this. Let's see what's in the box here. So inside the box is another box. It is my DGI or DJI Spark. Yay! Now, I was, <laughs> I was originally excited about this, but it took so long to get here, and after watching every single video I could find online about this, kind of takes all the excitement out of it. But now I'm so glad that I got it, because uh, next time I'm going to do with this, after I get it all set up and everything like that, is take it out and uh, for a spin. So I got the Fly More Pack, that's why you see the larger box here. And I'm just going to do a quick uh, go through of it. Now, mind you, I've never had a drone, never flown anything. Um, last time I had anything that was RC recorded or controlled, remote control, was when I was very, years and years ago, I put together one of those trucks that you can control, those little dirt trucks, and that was it. So this is going to be a brand new venture for me. I look forward to it. So, without further ado, enough talking. That's the front of the box. Nothing on the side. Nothing on that side. And there's the back of the box.
I plan to do a lot of videos with this, or hopefully a lot of videos with it. I tend to say I'm going to do a lot of stuff and then I just get out of work and don't feel like doing anything. And then I'm a days off, I kind of end up just relaxing and not doing anything. But with this, hopefully I plan to uh, utilize this to the fullest. So with the Fly More pack, it has a little seal on the side. So once I cut the seal, I guess I own it. Got another seal on the back. Move this out of the way. So inside the box, as you can see, <laughs> the dog is very curious about what's in the box, right, dog? Right. Mm -hmm. So first thing we have is Inside the box here, we have a box. I already know what's in here because, like I said, I've watched 100 videos. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and open it. And let's act surprised. Oh, wow, look at this. We got a whole bunch of guides. Yay. We have this guide. Uh, keep flying. Have some, a lot of books in other languages. Quick start guide, user's guide. Disclaimer and safety precautions guide. A lot of good reading that I won't be reading. So let's put this back in. All right, we'll put that right back in the box. Okay, what else do we have in here? We have, this is the bag that's Primarily about the uh, Fly More pack. It's like a nylon bag. Looks like a little camera bag. Has a strap. Looks pretty rugged and tough. Got a uh, non skid skid bottom on it. Good construction on it. Looks like it will last. Looks like it's made to be uh, carried around. So that's nice. I went with the DGI or DJI, I should say, because I figure if I'm a spending money on a drone. I might as well get what's considered to be the best one out there, so that's why I got. So what's in here? We have some styrofoam. We have a power bank with a couple USB power uh, plugs on there. We have. These are prop guards, which I will be flying with. Because, like I said, I am a drone noob, so I'm gonna definitely use the prop guards because I don't want to break this expensive toy as soon as I start flying. So it's prop guards made out of plastic. I thought there would be like a heavier plastic or a rubberized plastic or something, but this was like a very almost like a Toys R Us toy type plastic. Hmm. Everything looks video on, looks different on video, I guess. Got two more. What else we have in here? We have the power cable that goes with the uh, power bank. And what else we have? Here we have the controller, because you can operate your drone with your phone but I'd rather use a controller. Gotta say this is where you get the uh, best control and everything like that. So, what else is in here? We have a pocket on the front that opens up. In here we got a USB cable. We have a battery charging bank here. And that looks to be what the power cable, that power adapter plugs into. So you can charge it, so this goes together with this. You can charge three batteries at a time. And in the Fly More pack, they give you two batteries and one extra. I think that's a very good marketing thing, because now it prompts you to go back online and order a third battery, which I'll be doing tomorrow. So that goes together with that. 
what else is in here? There's nothing else in here. Got some more foam in there. There you go. Got a little pocket up top with a flap on it. Has that new that new camera bag smell to it. And that's it. That's the bag. So let's go ahead and put this stuff back in. Just leave out what we're going to use right now. And let's see here, the, the controller actually has some good weight to it. Here's the controller, you got your control sticks. It looks to be a record button on the back. Got a power button right here. Got another function button right here. And a wheel right here. Got a button right here for sport mode. We have, uh, not sure what that button is. I'll be sure to look it up in the instructions. And that's it. And it fits in the hand. I have average size hands, so it fits in the hand well. Heavy construction. It looks like it's pretty, it's a very quality device here. And this pops out on the bottom. It does right. So another thing I like about it right off the bat is that it's tight construction. It doesn't have that cheap flimsy feel. I kind of thought it just would like just come fly open like that, but it doesn't. It's like you actually got to put some effort into it. So, now normally what we would do is you would take your phone and your phone would go in here and that's how you would use it. But I don't want to do it that way. Um, I want to use my tablet. And I didn't want to have my tablet squeezed in like that because obviously it's not going to fit and I didn't want to put it the long way. Hence the reason why I went ahead and purchased this. I want to have all my accessories and everything up front so I can just start using this right away and not have to worry about ordering stuff and everything like that. So basically, this slides into this, kind of cinch it down. Now mind you, I haven't read any instructions on this yet, so it's kind of very intuitive, you know. And with that, like that, you can uh, take your tablet, stick it on there, and it's pretty steady. You might have to tighten it up some, but uh, there you go. Tighten it up a little bit more. It looks like it's just a little bit of a weak. I don't know if it's strong enough to hold the weight. Yeah. So there you go. Now I might even let it rest on my arm some, you know, so it's not totally putting all the weight on the on the uh, arm here. But that's what it is, it's big enough to hold my 10 inch tablet there. I move it up some like this. Now this tablet has a little case on it. I think I may have to take the case off of it so it can get a better grip on it. So there's the tablet without the case. So I'm gonna take the case off. Big difference there. And I'll probably have it upside down. But yeah, if I take the case off, big difference, much, much sturdier. Yeah, that's much better about the case on it. So, I can position it just right. So now, I can fly with the tablet up in front of me, like this, and I got a really good view of what's going on. So that's what that is. Let me go ahead and just take this off, set it aside for now. And here are your antennas. Now here's a tip that I watched a video. A lot of people want to take the antenna and stick it out like that. What you want to do, as with any Wi-Fi device, you want to have the antennas up because the actual signal comes out the flat parts of the uh, of the drone of the antenna there, not out the tip. So very good there. So that's the controller, and also here's my Oat on the go cable. It's going to plug right into that micro USB here. A lot of people can say this is a hack or a worker. I don't know what it is, but everybody knows about it. So take this, plug it into the bottom here, and then I got a short little USB cable. I have a short little USB cable. In fact, I have an even shorter one than this. That way I can plug this directly into my tablet here on the bottom. 
So while I'm using this, put it all back together, instead of relying on a Wi-Fi connection between the tablet and the controller, it will use the cable connection between the controller and the tablet or your phone or whatever you want to use. And that provides for a much better and much more reliable connection if it doesn't pop out. I guess it helps if I plug it in all the way. There you go. So that provides more a much better connection. You don't have to worry about it. your signal dropping out and losing control while you're flying because you have a direct connection straight from the tablet to the controller versus using the Wi-Fi connection. So that's something that I saw online now. I was sure to make sure that I went ahead and ordered the proper cable for it. I can go down to the local big box store, uh, not so great buy. I don't want to call it by its regular name because it's not my favorite store to be honest with you. Service in there, that's another video. But anyway, so I don't want to spend my money there. Sometimes I have to because they're pretty much the only electronic store in town. Um, I'd rather get it online. So seeing I figured I was going to have to wait for the device, I went ahead and just ordered it anyway, have it all set to deliver on the same day. So let's put this back together. I also going to order this uh, joystick controller, joystick um, protector, so when you put anything, your joystick's not flopping all around. Another feature I like on it already is it has like these little, they're like little piranha teeth on the tips of your joysticks there. So when you're using it, you have a nice firm grip. That is not going anywhere when you're using that. So, so far so good. Good construction on it. I like what I see so far. Okay, enough of my blabbering. What's else in the box? We got this, and that is it for what's in the box. Okay, so in the box here, we have very light, very small, very light. Matter of fact, I can throw this across the room. I'm not going to, but very light. It's made out of styrofoam, I guess. We have the can the what's this thing called? The drone. Yeah, that's what this is. Now the Flymore pack is supposed to have two batteries. Derp. 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 I'm a dummy. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, it's supposed to have two batteries. I only see one battery. Where's the other battery? Then it dawned on me, the other battery's inside the drone, stupid. So yeah, there it is. So here it is. Nice little case for it. Made out of styrofoam. I'm not sure how long this case is going to last, but uh, using the bag for it, pop it in the bag, or just take the drone out and put it in the bag there, you should be fine. The dog's really going at it. Hey, dog, get out your butt. Yeah, get out your butt. Yeah, you. Don't, don't do that. Yeah, stop. Anyway. That's better. Anyway, so let's go back to the drone. Very small. I got some extra propellers, which I'm sure I'm going to use. I'll probably have to order some more. We have the battery, which will work with the charger. It's not, it's not very heavy. It is solid construction. Like I said, it definitely does not have that cheap uh, toy store feel. So it's going to slide in there like that so it can charge. So you got the extra battery in there. You need that there for now. And we finally have the drone. Look how small this is. It's actually smaller than my hand. It's actually smaller than my phone. Look at that. This is very, very small. You have your propellers, your lights. Now, when I watch the YouTube videos, it looks much bigger on the YouTube videos. But now I actually hold it in my hand. It's, it's, this thing is incredibly small. Of course, the battery slides in and out. Here's the bottom. I guess you got some information on the bottom down there. You take the battery out, and it feels very. It feels like a toy. You got your sensors there. You got your gimbal. 
and sensors up front. Now I'm not going to go into all the details of how far I can fly and all the rest of that and what all these sensors are for. I'm just going to say that you can do like I did. You can go online, watch the videos. Plenty of people out there making their own videos. You can nerd out to it and, you know, fap away if you want. But anyway, uh, this is the actual drone itself. It's very small, very compact. I just hit the, the, cam the camera there. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of uh, specious as to how small it is. It just looks so much bigger on the... Uh, on the, on, the, on the screen. That's what she said, by the way. Is that a drone you pop? You're happy to see me. Anyway, yeah, I did that. But uh, this drone is actually the same size as a controller. In fact, it weighs about the same, too, with the battery in it. So, there you go. You have the drone, you have the controller. You have the charger, you have the bag, and all the little accessories that came with it. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and figure this out, get the batteries charging, and uh, take it on a quick flight and get that on film and uh, uh, go from there. Once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. Thanks for watching. This is just a simple box opening of my new toy, the DJI uh, Spark drone. It's supposed to be one of the top drones on the market today. Um, I think it was paid like $6.99 all together for everything. So, yeah, go figure. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start playing or start getting this thing up and running. Hit that like button. Hit the thumbs up button, the like button. You know, like if you... Uh, want to see more videos like this, dislike if you're a jerk. Um, that's it. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Robert P. Games. Over and out.